This is my two years old Spectra Newport 400. Um, I need to uh, change the annular rings and the, the rod because the water maker production went uh, from uh, 60 liters per hour down to 25 liters per hour. And hopefully um, changing these annular rings will fix the problem. Um, we're also gonna disassemble the cylinders and um, make sure there are no scratches in the cylinder. Uh, if there are, we're gonna use a honing tool to get rid of them and then replace the pistons. One other thing that we're gonna do is um, replace all the nickel bronze uh, compression fittings that uh, Spectra uses because they corrode and uh, when they corrode um, this uh, dirt can go into the intensifier or the Clark pump and damage the, the unit. I don't know. See how much corrosion there is? So now we're gonna uh, dismount, disassemble the pressure intensifier. Bolts out. This is out. Now we're gonna disassemble uh, the pressure intensifier. We need to replace all these uh, elements as well. well. Same thing on the other side. Now we get the Rod out. This is the right one. Now the fun part to get this uh, annular out of here, you need a special tool. Uh, you can also do without, but I recommend to get this uh, little tool. It's gonna make your life easier. Now using this, you put it on top of the annular ring and then you tap on it. And it comes out. There you go. One is out. You take this and put it the other way around and get the second one out this is the chart where uh, you can uh, see uh, all the o-rings um, so that you can easily change them this is the internal o-ring since we're here we're gonna change it even if it looks uh, still good so I replaced the four O-rings that go inside here. Uh, they looked fine, but since I'm here, I replaced them anyway. And now I'm replacing the annulars. So you just uh, uh, make sure that you lubricate with uh, food grade uh, silicone uh, paste. And then you just put it in place and you press it in. And then by using the special tool and something to tap on it, you need to make sure it's flush. Now it's time to insert the spool. So use some food grade silicone paste and then very carefully insert the spool 
and you're ready to go. So now we're gonna replace this nickel bronze compression fitting with a proper stainless steel one so that it doesn't corrode and all this corrosion doesn't go into the intensifier or the Clark pump. These are very good stainless steel fittings, compression fittings. All this crap here is gonna end up in the Clark pump, in the membrane, and maybe it's gonna score the cylinders. All right, now you put the pressure intensifier on the Clark pump. Look how much corrosion there is with these uh, nickel bronze uh, uh, pressure fittings. And all this, it goes into the membrane and shorten the life of the membrane. I'll show you. Look at this. This is corroded and it goes into the pressure valve vessel where the membrane is. Another nickel bronze fitting. Let's see how much corrosion there is here. Yeah, see this? This goes into the cylinder. It will score the cylinder. This is the J fitting on the uh, Clark pump uh, high pressure outlet. Let's see how much corrosion there is in here. Let's see here, it's pretty bad. It's the high pressure outlet out of the car pump. Again, a lot of corrosion. This stuff is gonna get into the pump and you run the risk to score the cylinder. All right, now we are going to uh, remove the J fitting uh, from the Clark pump and we're gonna replace the nickel bronze fitting as well and uh, we're gonna check if the cylinders are scored and if they are, I'm gonna use this uh, honing tool to make them smooth again and replace the pistons. All right, removing the J fitting from the Clark pump. Oopla. Again, some corrosion, not as bad as on the membrane or pressure vessel. Uh, nevertheless, we are going to replace this uh, pressure fittings. All right, now we are going to remove this fitting. And for this job, it's better to have the special tool, special uh, spectra tool for removing the end cap. And then we are going to find the groove somewhere around here. There we go. And then. We are going to unscrew this fitting and replace it with one in stainless steel. See the amount of corrosion here? It's pretty bad. Alright, and this is the other fitting. The clock pump. And yeah, there is some corrosion. Not too bad, it's on the pressure vessel, but still. We're gonna disassemble the other J fitting of the Clark's pump to replace the nickel bronze fittings with stainless steel ones. And again, let's see the corrosion. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Look how bad it is. Look. If one of these things gets into the cylinder, it's gonna score it. Look how much corrosion we have here. Look at this guy. And all this stuff is ending in the clutch pump. Look at this from the clutch pump. Look at this crap. It's gonna go and uh, 
score the cylinder. Now we're gonna take apart the two cylinders of the Clark pump. There you go. And, uh, I don't have a new cylinder and I don't want to risk uh, ruin it with a um, honing tool and so what I'm gonna do is just uh, clean it and replace the piston and hope that uh, this will uh, fix the problem but in this cylinder the piston was seized and it, uh, it didn't move and uh, this is why I suspect the pump was um, asymmetric and uh, it was returning half um, the production of uh, fresh water so we'll see how it goes uh, here we're changing the piston road lip seal as you can see um, it was um, done and now we're gonna put the new one inside all right it's finished finished the rebuild is finished now wish me good luck we'll see how it if it works